Hey, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Rich, or Radio. We're back again with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, guys. Today is actually the first episode of my tip series for how to get diamond on every single kind of tier of weapons. Uh, for the first episode today, we're actually going to be talking about how to get diamond easily for the SMGs. A lot of people have been telling me to make these videos, and I I've, I've know a lot of good tips. I'm very familiar with trying to get diamond on weapons in Black Ops 3, so I said, you know what? I'm going to share my tips and my knowledge with you guys trying to get diamond and trying to grind for dark matter, and I think this is going to be a really cool series and I have a lot of tips I'm going to be having a lot of variety of class setups to use a lot of tips for game modes just a lot of tips in general for how to complete all these camo challenges and to achieve diamond and uh, at the end uh, dark matter so if you guys enjoy today's video if you guys do smash that like button guys let's try and break 200 likes for the series uh, in the next one you guys can tell me which one you want to see next if you guys want to see snipers or assault rifles or LMGs just let me know what you guys want to see next and I think this is going to be a really good series so let me know what you guys think of it remember to drop a like 200 likes is going to be the goal and uh, follow me on all my social media in the description and subscribe if you're new guys and uh, with that being said let's jump right into it so for the first challenges for the SMGs it's of course going to be the 100 headshots now 100 headshots a lot of people do tend to have problems trying to get headshots in Black Ops 3 so on the screen right now I'm gonna be telling you guys the class setup I personally love to use for trying to get SMGs now the SMGs the one downside is they don't have high caliber and a lot of the other weapons in Black Ops 3 do and what high caliber does is basically you get headshots a lot easier but SMGs don't so we kind of have to work around that so for the class setup, of course, the primary is going to be any SMG you're working on, basically anything, the CUDA, the VMP, the Vesper, anything you're working on, that's going to be the primary. Now for the attachments, you're going to want to run the ELO, the Quick Draw, the Grip, and the Rapid Fire. And for the perks, it's going to be Sixth Sense, Tracker, and Awareness. And also for the Tactical, you're going to have one Concussion. And for the Specialist, I recommend you guys use uh, Vision Pulse. Now the biggest thing for this class setup is going to be the ELO site. I recommend if you're going for headshots, period, on any single weapon, you're going to want to have an ELO site or some kind of optic uh, because it makes it so there's you know there's just one dot you know you don't have the iron sights the iron sights can be a little bit messed up with some weapons so just have an elo sight it's literally one dot and you just have to aim for the head and just try to line up the head with that one dot for the elo sight and it's going to you know make your life a little bit easier trying to go for headshots so i definitely strongly recommend you guys run some kind of optic on your class for going for headshots now for the game mode i definitely recommend you guys play free for all or hardcore free for all free for all is really, really good because you don't have teammates trying to get in your way and uh, every enemy you see is going to be a person that you can kill so there's not going to be any confusion with you and your teammates teammates are not going to be getting into your way and uh, free for all is just an all-around good game mode um it's really really good i definitely recommend you guys play it and free hardcore free for all it can go either way i just feel that hardcore free for all you die insanely quick but the headshots do become a little bit easier because it takes like one or two shots that's about it so it's very very interesting you guys can go either way free for all or hardcore free for all in my road to diamond series my road to dark matter series i always play regular free for all because like i said i just feel you die insanely quick for a hardcore free for all but uh whichever one you prefer either way i definitely recommend you guys play free for all it's a lot easier trust me guys and like i said for the specialists run the vision pulse vision pulse you can just see where people are making your lives a little bit easier in free for all so you know where people are coming from and uh, you're just ready to aim for the head in general but that's basically the class setup, guys just run this class setup for all the 100 headshots and once you're done with all the headshots you unlock all of the other challenges and you're very very close to getting gold at this point trust me you're very very close so now for the next camos i'm going to give you guys tips for is going to be the bliss camo the ardent camo the battle camo and the chameleon camo now those you can actually get done all together in just one class up which is very very interesting now the bliss is going to be 50 kills with an optic and five attachments the ardent is going to be 10 revenge medals the battle is going to be five double kills and for the chameleon it's going to be five bloodthirsties so on the screen right now i'm going to be telling you guys the best class setup to run for all of these and with this class setup you can get all these challenges done at once so for the primary of course is going to be any smg uh, for the attachments you're going to actually have six attachments on so you're going to want to run the elo the quick draw the grip the rapid fire the extended mags and the long barrel now with all of these attachments going to hand it's going to make this gun or whatever smg you're using basically pretty much a beast of a weapon and it's going to make your life a little bit easier trying to get all those 50 kills with the six attachments also for the ardent camo you're just going to you know kill people really really quickly with all these attachments so the wrench metals should come quickly and for the battle camo you have extended mags on there so uh, basically you can get double kills a little bit easier and uh, also for the chameleon camo all these attachments you can get you know five kills with very very easily and try to get a bloodthirsty five times so it's very very easy with this class setup i definitely recommend it um for the game mode i definitely recommend chaos mosh pit and try to get you know nuketown because nuketown 
Town. It's a very, very small map. You can find people very, very easily and uh, all around just kill people very, very quickly because, you know, it's Nuketown. You know, it's the smallest map in the game. So you can find people very, very quickly. Also for the specialist, I definitely recommend uh, running Kinetic Armor because Kinetic Armor, when you're going for those Bloodthirsties, uh, you can, you know, try to get like two or three kills and then put on Kinetic Armor and then try to kill two more people. You can just make your life a little bit easier trying to go for those uh, Chameleon Camo uh, for the Bloodthirsties. So that's the specialist I run. And that's the class setup I'd recommend you guys running for all of those camos because you can get all those camos done with just this one single class setup. So let me know how this works out for you. I think it's a very, very awesome class setup. Now for the last camo, guys, it's going to be the Burnt Camo. And the Burnt Camo is actually 50 kills with no attachments, period. There's no attachments on this class setup. So, so this camo challenge can be a little bit difficult, but then again, with this tips I'm going to give you, it can be done very, very quickly. Now for the class setup, you're going to have any primary SMG you're going to have, uh, whichever SMG you're working on, and uh, you're actually going to have no attachments because that's the challenge, no attachments on your primary. And that could be a little bit difficult. I'm one person who loves to have attachments for whatever gun I'm using, but for this class setup, I'm making you guys run six perks. Now six perks is going to be a little bit better. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. Now for the perks, you guys can see the class setup on the screen. You're going to be running Ghost, Sixth Sense, Scavenger, Hardwire, Dead Silence, and Awareness. And also for the game mode, I recommend you guys play Chaos Mosh Pit. Once again, try to get Nuketown because then uh, it's a very small map. You can find people easier and all around just get kills pretty quicker. So um, anyway, that's pretty much the class setup I recommend you guys run. And uh, with all these perks, it's going to make your life a little bit easier because having no attachments, it's a very, very big disadvantage in this game. But uh, having more perks and having six perks on this class setup, uh, you can pretty much get 50 kills very, very quickly. And trust me, just play Chaos Mosh Pit, try to get Nuketown, and you're going to find people in insanely quick and average around maybe 30 kills each game and you'll be done with it within two games so it's very very interesting and I, I like this class setup a lot uh going for the burnt camo i love to have six attachments on it you really don't need any lethal or tacticals or anything or secondaries honestly and uh, that's pretty much it so anyway guys that is the video hopefully this video contained a lot of tips helping you guys try to get the diamond camo easier for the all the smgs if this video worked and this video you know helped you in any way shape or form make sure to drop a like on this video guys let's try and break 200 likes for this video also let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next do you guys want to see ARs next, LMGs, sniper rifles, shotguns, anything? Just let me know. So in the next episode, I know you guys want to see that next, and I can pump that out very, very quickly. Uh, but with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I think this video contained a lot of tips and just good class setups and everything like that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys had a good day, and I'll see you on another video.